Hey, welcome to the Diva Docs, and I'm Elisa. This is Dr. Zakia, and my boot camp trainer himself, David A. Miller. Oh, the damn good body of David. How are you? Hello, ladies. Great to be here. Today. What I would like you to do, David, if we can name the five tips, and then we'll talk a little bit about each tip. Okay, so what's number one? Number one is, is in, I'm always going to start with nutrition. Mm -hmm. uh, because that, that's where it has to start. It has to start with, with what you're putting into your body daily. Mm -hmm. And the misconception in, in American diet, people think that it's about um, the fat that you're taking or being on a low fat diet. That's what the problem with most people's diet, what keeps you overweight, is the carbohydrates and the sugar that you're taking in. Oh. So mm -hmm. you, you've got to watch the carbs, the, the bread, the pasta, um, you know, the, 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 the cakes, mm -hmm. things like that that you're eating. That, that's that's what puts the weight mm -hmm. on you. The carbs and, and the sugar that's in sodas, that's in juices. Um, you know, the sugar, the worst thing in, in the American diet right now. That's, it's sugar mm -hmm. that is the main problem that has people gaining weight. That's, that's my problem. problem. <laughs> so, if you could cut right. back on, on your sugar intake, if you could cut back on the carbs that you're taking in, mm -hmm. right there, you're going to improve your diet. Mm -hmm. The things you want more of in your diet, two Ps. You want more protein, you want more produce, especially vegetables. Mm -hmm. okay, you want more non-starchy vegetables, uh, green leafy vegetables like spinach, like kale, like collard greens, mm -hmm. things like that. You want green vegetables and you want protein in your diet. Okay. Protein is what's going to help keep you lean and get you leaner. Mm -hmm. Protein being um, animal sources like like poultry, like, like meat, um, mm -hmm. or, or dairy, or okay. fish. If you can focus on, on those two things more of in your diet, more protein, more vegetables, less sugar, less carbs, that mm -hmm. right there is gonna, is gonna help change your body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's one. Well, awesome. Secondly, uh, we'll, we'll talk about uh, exercising. Exercising, um, and again, a misconception is when people are, are thinking about getting healthier, getting shape up their body, they're thinking it's, it's all about cardio. But, it's not mm -hmm. about cardio. Right. Cardio mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's an important part of your workout. But as far as changing how your mm -hmm. body looks, as far mm -hmm. as changing um, the, the shape the, of your body, um, women want curves. Okay? They want, you want your curves to look good. You mm -hmm. want your hips to look good. You want your, your, your buns to look good. You yeah. want your arms to look good. The only thing that's going to do that is weight training. Okay? Exactly. And that's one of the biggest mistakes that women make mm -hmm. with their workout mm -hmm. is, is neglecting weight training mm -hmm. or putting weight training on the back burner and um, just using little cutesy dumbbells like five pounds, <laughs> you're not going to change your body. But if a woman, if anyone wants to change their body, you should be uh, making weight training a priority mm -hmm. and lifting as heavy as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the misconception again with women is thinking that okay, if I lift heavy weights, I'm mm -hmm. going to look like a female body. Mm -hmm. and, and not at all. You're going to look like a, a sexy, strong woman. Mm -hmm. I mean, trying to make weight training a regular part of your mm -hmm. routine. Mm -hmm. Trying to lift weights at least three times a week. Mm -hmm. That's number two. Number three would be uh, high intensity interval training okay. for your mm -hmm. cardio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, when you see most people do cardio, especially this time of year, you go in the gyms and, and <laughs> all the treadmills are taken up and all yeah. the <laughs> Because everyone thinks that, that that is the way, the best mm -hmm. way to do your cardio. Mm -hmm. It really is not. The best mm -hmm. way to do your cardio is, is to do hard, fast cardio. Right. Mm -hmm. Examples of that are doing sprints, right. mm -hmm. doing a spin class, mm -hmm. um, doing a rowing uh, machine in a, in a fast way. But you're, you're trying to go hard and fast. You're not always focusing on doing long, drawn out mm -hmm. cardio. Mm -hmm. Really hard mm -hmm. and fast cardio. Now, what about the elliptical machines? at the gyms that have the different programs. Uh, the hills, which I, I would assume mm -hmm. hills are an interval type training, or the interval type training itself. I'm not, not, I'm not a big fan of the elliptical machine. Okay. That's one of my mm -hmm. least favorite machines, actually. Really? The machine is doing a lot of work for you. Wow. Yeah, doing mm -hmm. a lot of work for you. And I'm a much bigger fan of the rowing machine, which, which, mm -hmm. which most times when you mm -hmm. go to the gym, the rowing machine is there. To, and no, 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 because most, most people don't know mm -hmm. how to use it. Yeah. If you ever look at rowers, they, their bodies are amazing. They, they mm -hmm. look, they're totally fit from head to toe because a rower is using their whole body. You're using your lower body, you're using your upper body, you're using your core. So mm -hmm. your whole body is working mm -hmm. very hard through the, whole, through the whole workout. If you look at what a sprinter looks like, mm -hmm. if, you, if you're a track and field fan, their, their bodies are toned 
from head to toe because sprinting is different than jogging. Mm -hmm. Jogging is really easy, nice, mm -hmm. easy, slow pace. Mm -hmm. Sprinting, you're using your whole body. Right. After you've done sprints, you're feeling your, your abs mm -hmm. being sore because you're mm -hmm. using those muscles. You're using everything in, in basically the, at the highest intensity that you can. Right. So those are two of the, the, mm -hmm. the toughest workouts that you can do for your cardio mm -hmm. and, and two of the workouts that you're, you're going to get the most bang for the buck. You're going right. to see your, your body fat reduced. You're going to see your, your body more toned with those two exercises right. than you will with doing jogging, mm -hmm. doing the elliptical, mm -hmm. with, with uh, sitting on the bike unless it's a, unless it's a spin class. Fourth would, would be um, finding another activity that, um, that, that you are getting cardio, it doesn't have to be uh, sprints or, or, right. or spinning, mm -hmm. something like a Zumba class or, 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 mm -hmm. or doing longer runs. It's a longer cardio, cardio but you're still, mm -hmm. you need to have other workouts that you're, um, you're, 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 you're working, but you, you don't have to be at full intensity mm -hmm. all the time. You have to give your body some recovery time as well. And that's, mm -hmm. that's something that people don't do. They don't, Especially when they start to get into it this time of year, you know, we, mm -hmm. as a kid and I were just talking, you have people in this New Year's resolution time, they, they've gone from, they're trying to go from <laughs> zero to a hundred. You know, they, they haven't done anything all year, they've been sitting around doing mm -hmm. nothing, and now mm -hmm. it's January 1st, okay, I'm on, mm -hmm. on my New Year's resolution, I'm going to go to the gym three times a day, every day. And right. that's yeah. a mistake. Exactly. You're, 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 you're going to break down when you do that, mm -hmm. because your body, your body mm -hmm. has been doing anything. So, mm -hmm. so instead of that, Go start with three times a week, mm -hmm. right. maybe four times a week. Start with that, mm -hmm. and if you, you can build up from that, that that's fine. And number five. Number five is is rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm. Believe it. There you go. Yep. Um, <laughs> you know, the, uh, um, having your body um, relax, rest, recover from your workouts is really as important mm -hmm. as the workouts mm -hmm. themselves. Right. Um, you know, you you have to let your body exactly. recuperate from the workouts mm -hmm. if you're always. Um, trying to break your body down, so to speak, and never letting it, getting a chance to build itself back mm -hmm. up, then actually you're, you're going to uh, eventually cause yourself to have an injury. Oh, mm -hmm. You can mm -hmm. give yourself a chance to, to, to recover. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see the, the results that you could be seeing, mm -hmm. again, because your body isn't getting a chance to, to build itself back up. Wow. So, I, you know, people think that I'm in the mm -hmm. gym seven days a week, 20. Um, Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I average four to five workouts a week okay. personally. Mm -hmm. I give myself at least one day, and usually two days, that I do not work out. Mm -hmm. I let mm -hmm. myself, I let myself recover, recuperate, rest, and you know that helps you sleep better. That helps. That helps everything that you're doing. Um, giving yourself some some rest and recovery time is is uh, is going to help you with that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I believe in using something that's called a foam roller. Foam roller. Right is, is mm -hmm. a, a little device that helps it's like giving yourself a massage mm -hmm. um, and that's one way to do it but you can also just well go and get a great massage get a good right. sports massage to help help those muscles. i think i'm gonna go with the massage <laughs> i know yeah, yeah. 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 What do you think? <laughs> okay so right now just to cap it off for everyone all the audience we had number one was diet and nutrition mm -hmm. number two was exercise ex weight, weight training, training. Weight training. Weight training. Weight training. <laughs> number three was high intensity interval training interval <laughs> training sprints <laughs> spinning throwing <laughs> machine those are my there three top cardio mm -hmm. that I recommend. number four was the fun exercise the zumba mm -hmm. classes like dr mm -hmm. zakia teaches and number five was rest and relaxation. Mm -hmm.